Hi there, friends. Today is the day for a little <clears throat> lesson in identity. How do you like my t-shirt? <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> I got this for a reason. It has a, a, a point, a teaching point. I identify as an attack helicopter. <clears throat> okay. Am I an attack helicopter? Do I behave the way an attack helicopter behaves? <coughs> Do I create the outcomes that an attack helicopter creates? <coughs> no. So what's the point? What's the point? The point is there are a lot of people in the United States that are calling themselves Americans who live in the land of the free and the home of the brave. There are a lot of people who identify as Catholics, Protestants, religious, evangelicals, Zionists, who when you look at their behavior, their behavior does not match the ideal that they have they're where is a label okay I'm watching videos about the Pope trying to convince the church to embrace the behaviors of Islam namely taqiya jizya jihad child marriage etc okay is he a Catholic oh I'm watching evangelicals embrace Zionism the Zionists who are Ashkenazi following the occult secular materialist philosophy are imperialist in their orientation. They believe they are better than anybody else, that they will rule the world. That's Zionism, that's not Judaism. Are they what they pre present themselves as? Are they Jews? Well, that's a good question because if you read the law and I'll put the link to the law down below there's no imperialism in the law it's just common sense common law and I look at my own Church of England and the prayer book and the prayer book says nothing about techniques of telling the truth and mediating disputes and conflicts or dealing with treachery, deceit, perfidy, perjury. The Book of Common Prayer does not confront evil in any way, shape, or form. And so the Church of England, which underlies the British monarchy, is essential, impotent, emasculated, they don't deal with, they don't confront evil at all. They wear the label, but they don't do the label. So there are Jews and Christians and Catholics. The Catholic Church is rife with pedophilia and homosexuality, but they still call themselves Catholics. All right, and so what I'm talking about today is the difference between the label we may attached to ourselves and the actual behavior with and around other people and the effects and the, either the blessing or the cursing that way that we are doing you get what i'm saying what label are you wearing now if you're way, wearing the label of an american <clears throat> think about who benefited from the Korean War, the war in Vietnam, okay, the um, war against Iraq, the, the Gulf War, Benghazi, Libya, these are all wars and policies of a government that calls itself the land of the free and the home of the brave. Is that the behavior of the land of the free and the home of the brave? I don't think so. We live at a time where obsessive hoarding and profiteering by the financial and tech markets 
has made gazillionaires of people at the drop of a hat while we have hundreds of thousands of homeless who have nowhere to live and we have we have social problems and infrastructure that isn't being dealt with but according to the law and the bar association's interpretation of the law the bar association doesn't have an ethos does it they let anybody do what they can get away with right those gazillionaires and billionaires are hoarding so that it is impossible for us as a consensual republic to rationally think about how to solve some of these social and infrastructure problems that we have. And we have a president who's had the whole mess dumped on him all at once, along with the Marxist coup that wants to take down the ethos of do unto others as you would have them do unto you and tell the truth and let your yes be yes and your no be no me no. Marxism wants to take that all down anyway. And so they're taking, trying for all they can to take this president down. Now, if you are an American, if you are a person who believes in governance by the consent of the people, what are you doing? Are you standing with the hypocrisy or are you standing with the revelation and the exposure that the hypocrisy has to stop? The churches have allowed themselves to be emasculated by the 1965 um, IRS exemption 501c3, so they're all just trying to keep their asses covered and trying to keep their assets in good order. It's all about money, 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 money. The churches have become impotent. So <laughs> when are the churches going to wake up to the behavior that they were called to follow? That's my question. Any of you who go to a church, I'd like to get your take on this. Any of you who call yourself an American from the land of the free and the home of the brave, tell me something. How do you reconcile what this country has done with the founding documents of the Constitution. I'd like to hear this. Okay. I'm, you know, a lot of us are just about at the end of our patience with the, the Marxist coup that is destroying the moral fiber of our people and their, and their, and their games and vices and profligacy and demand for freedom to be barbaric at our expense. Let's see what you can do with this. Good luck. Oh, bye-bye.